Alright folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim and today I have another seed discovery video for you. This was recommended to me by one of my viewers. Um, and he was 100% correct. This seed is phenomenal. This seed I'm ranking a 10. Um, not solely because it has maypoles, but because of the boss locations and the trader and the resource distribution. It's overall a fantastic seed. This is a great seed for all of you guys out there that maybe just coming back in wanted to do a speed run. Um, maybe you, you know, kind of uninstalled because you're waiting for mistlands and you've reinstalled and you wanted a, a seed to quickly get through the areas that you've already been through a hundred times before. Or if you're a new time player and you want a decent challenge, but, um, you know, you, you want to be able to access things at your own pace, this seed is phenomenal. If you're new to my channel, um, a lot of the Valheim content that I do is seed discovery, and I look for maypoles specifically that are naturally occurring on the seeds. Now, just so you're aware, you do not need a maypole to play Valheim. A maypole infers to you a plus one comfort bonus, which does increase your rested bonus. Now the rested bonus is important because it does help you specifically in boss fights. Plus one comfort is not a make or break, but it is uh, better to have it than it than not. So maypoles naturally occur on on some seeds, and then on some seeds they don't occur at all. Um, you can build them in cheat mode. I am currently in cheat mode. You can build them anywhere you want if you cheat. In addition to that, from time to time, the developers um, do release their, um, I think last year they called it the May Day event, where they allowed you to build maypoles anywhere that you wanted. So the reason I do this content is, is because maypoles are one of the only, one of the only unique items in Valheim that are randomly generated. Okay, the map is always randomly generated, but not every map has a maypole. So anyways, before I get going on this seed, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. So this seed actually has two maypoles. Here's the first, okay? This one is okay. It's not one that I would normally do a video on because it's kind of in the middle of a meadows. This particular location has some decent resources. You've got some wood piles. You've got some four outbuildings. You've got, you know, raspberry bushes, and you've got some piggies running around, which is normal for any village that you find in Valheim. And it's got the maypole set back. Behind you is some more plains. It's a decent location. It's definitely not one that I would select. However, this maypole is one of two. The second one is through the woods, past this boar stone, which actually makes that maypole a little bit more attractive. The second one is right on the water here. Now that is really, really close. Okay, that's an awesome maypole. In and of itself, if this was the only maypole on the seed, I would have done a video on this anyways because of its proximity to the water. That's always worthy of a video and a, and a build, in my opinion. Now, remember the mini-map, it looks like the two camp icons that I placed on the mini-map are far away. They're actually much closer than, than it appears, meaning th these two maypoles are pretty damn close together. But this one is the, 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 the star of the show here. This ahead of us confers, I'm sorry, uh, opens up into uh, open ocean, okay? That's all open ocean down there. So the, the, the camp here for this maypole, uh, you know, it's, it's um, boring. It's got most of your normal stuff. It's got some raspberry bushes. It's got a couple of boars running around. You know the drill if you've played Valheim. Most villages have, have that. This maypole is exceptionally close to the water, which is a positive. Now, the, uh, this is probably one of the best seeds I've ever seen, and it was recommended to me. Um, 
And why is that? It's not just because this maypole is close to the water or there's a second one or there's a bore stone between the maypoles. It's because the bosses are all on the main island. Okay, and they're in sequential order as well, meaning you've got Ichthyr, then you've got uh, the Elder, then you've got Bowmass, and you've got Motor, and then Yagloth. You also have a trader on the main island as well. This seed is phenomenal. I would actually rank this 10 in my book. Now, we'll check out the, 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 the map generator in just a minute so you can see it for yourself. Who would play on this? You could really do anything here, although I think this is the be a better seed for a solo a speed run. Um, I could see this seed being really good for someone coming back to Valheim. They wanted to start over maybe when Mistlands drops, and they, you know, they, they don't mind going through the old content again, like the Dark Force and stuff. But they want to do it quickly. They don't want to dwell there. They just want to get to Mistlands. This would be a quick and easy build for them. And for a new player, this is a solid seed for you to start on, get your feet wet, learn the ropes. Um, and you've got a maypole here on the ocean. You can go sailing if you want. Um, overall, I think this seed is fantastic. But let's take a look at the map. Oh, that's my <laughs> that's my my YouTube channel. Well, my, what I was look what I what I was looking at today for YouTube videos. Anyways, here's the seed. I'll leave this in the description, and I'll leave this in the comment a comment below. Actually, I just leave it in the description. <laughs> you can you can leave the comments. Thank you. Anyways, here is the map. Now, as you can see, you've got this huge bay here. Okay, here's where you start. So you're basically running down the coast. Now, here's that that maypole that we were just at. That's on the water. Like I said, you've got all open ocean down here. It's a fantastic place for you to sail out of. Okay, here's that other maypole. So those are pretty close. Um. Two maypoles that close, that's always good. You can always play with a buddy if you want. Or you can build like your, maybe your um, crafting area up here and just have a port and a rest area down here, whatever you want. But that's pretty solid. Now, the bosses. This is one of the highlights of the seed right here. Okay. So like I said, they're in sequential order. You're starting here with Ichthyr. You run up here, you've got Elder. Run up here, you've got bone mass. Run up here, you got motor. Run up here, you got Yagloth. They're all in a row in order in which you complete the bosses. That's really, really solid. That's fantastic. And and you don't ever have to get on a boat. Now this Yagloth might be a little challenging because you've got a once you do motor, I'm assuming you probably what I would do is I'd probably build a just a quick portal up here in one of the ruins, um, fortify that clear out motor and then just drop down here and then start working working the planes but all of these bosses right in a row that's fantastic where's the trader right here again you got the trader right here as well you don't have to get on a boat uh, that's phenomenal uh, if you've watched my videos before you know um, I'm not completely thrilled with the trader situation in Valheim I think it is a underutilized asset Really, once you get the belt, uh, there's not a whole hell of a lot you need the trader for. It would be good in the future if they maybe dedicated an update to just the trader where they could put in five or six more items that are really, really useful for you. Maybe a unique weapon or something. I don't know. Um, now, if you're playing on a modded server, you probably have a modded trader anyways because I'm not the only person who's identified that weakness for the trader. However, he's right there. It's good to have because, you know, once you farm up all your, your rubies, um, pearls, etc., you don't want a place to cash them out, and the trader's the only place to do that. Um, at any rate, it's nice to have the trader there. I'm hopeful in the future they do more with the trader. Okay. Let's take a look at the Leviathans real quick. Not great, not horrible. You're going to be down here, so you really want some to the south again for a solo play you've got three right here that'll be enough you should be able to get enough chitlin from that to get your abyssal harpoon and abyssal knife if you so choose if you've got multiple people you're going to want to sail up north here and grab all of these up here either way 
um, you've got enough to get you going. Uh, it would be great if there were a couple more over here. That would be fantastic. But it is what it is. Tomes and Crypts. Very solid. Your Dark Forest is up here around the Trader and the Elder is fantastic. Okay, that's enough. The, these few over here should probably be enough for you to get enough cores for you to build a portal or two. Okay, if you want to, you know, early, early game, if you're a new player, go over here so you've got the meadows to retreat to. But once you're a little bit further along, you can farm this dark forest area here. This should be all of the dark forest um, crypts that you need. Okay, there's plenty. The good news is, is we come up here to, to the swamps in our bone mass location. Plenty of sunken crypts here. So, uh, again, that's another thing that makes this seed so solid and it was a great recommendation it, it, it's not only do you have the bosses in sequential order each boss the elder and the bone mass at least have the requisite crypts around it to support that era's gameplay that's fantastic okay um but what we want to do also is is we want to make sure that this motor is solid okay does it have all of the the, the you know the um, forest? The, I'm sorry, the frost caves and the eggs that we need. Six frost caves. That's pretty solid. Where are the dragon eggs? Multiple dragon eggs. Uh, this again is a fantastic motor seed and motor location. You want to have the eggs close to his spawn to her spawn. Okay. I've been on seeds before and played them, and I and I found a motor spawn, and there was just no eggs there. I had to track them all up. It was a real pain in the neck. Pain in the neck. So this is a good motor seed. So again, you've got solid dark forest around the elder, solid um, swamp near bone mass, sw solid mountain with the resources for motor. Now let's take a look at Yagloth. Let's see how we're doing up there. Um, let's get rid of our dragon eggs and our Frost Caves, and let's look at Totems. It's okay. Um, you've got four camps here where you can get Totems. That's not bad. It's not fantastic, though. It'd be great if there were more in here. Um, plenty of Tar Pits, though, so that's nice. You can get your resources for that. Um, that That's a, still a pretty good Yagloth location. I mean, considering where you're located, you can run to it um, from your base. Uh, the fact that it's got these totem locations, it, it's good enough. I think overall that's pretty good. Um, what else can I show you? Let's take a look at the bee situation. Plenty of bees. Especially around here um, on your spawn. Um, this little chunk right here should be all the bees that you ever need for this game. Okay, you build a look, put them in your farming area, whatever, you're good to go. There's a few down here by the maypoles, it's fine. But you've got plenty around the spawn to get your um, honey early, which is a, is, is, is a very important resource that you want to grab. Um, hmm, useful runes. There's that boar stone. Okay, right in the middle of these two. Okay. Now, uh, that's it. Okay, so you don't have any... I mean, you've got this one up here. Ideally, what you want to be doing is... is I, I would think that you want to get a boar farm going quickly. That this may... You know, so that's a, one small issue on this seed. You shouldn't have any problem finding boars around your maypoles. Because they're villages. But, you know, that's... I, I would say that's one of the first order of business is to... Uh, Pick your spot, pick where you want your boars to, to, to breed them, and uh, get going on that. Now, if you don't do that, you just want to hunt them. There's plenty of boars up here. I could see you taking one play session and running up here and just killing all the boars at these, at these stones, and you should have plenty of boar meat from that. Now, when I say this is a great seed for running, you know, all the bosses are on the main island on the main continent, whatever, um, you still got to run up there, okay? I mean, it's not going to be a, um, you know, a quick trip. I mean, you got to get to the Elder up here, um, 
that may be a day, you know, and then if you, you know, farm up whatever you want and then run back, I mean, that's long. So what I like to do is it, I like to look for places that I can build a camp, okay? Um, I would be building portal camps, really one near the trader. I always like that. And what I usually do for that is I usually look for troll caves. There isn't one by the trader, which is too bad. But there's one right here between the elder and the trader. I mean, you, once you get through the elder, you're not really going to be doing too much in the dark forest anyways. But I'd probably build a portal right here, and that way I could have easy access to the trader. Um, but what you want to do is, what I would say is, you probably want to build portals all the way up this coast. Now, you've got this meadows here before you get to the, to the, um, to the bone mass, which is great. And you've got a little meadows here before you get to motor. Now remember, you're going to have to be transporting these ores, okay? You're running them back, that's going to be a long haul to your base. So, uh, it, it, it's, yes, you can run to the bosses, quickly do them, but if you're going to transport a lot of ore and you're really going to commit to the seed as your main seed and you're going to build, you're going to have to sail, okay? Because, uh, I mean, the, while the bosses are all on the main island, they're fairly removed from your location, you're, you're way at the southern tip and you know, the bosses, you, you have to go north each time, it's further away. That's the one weakness here, but it's really not that big of a weakness at all. Overall, this is a fantastic seed. Um, this is a seed that, you know, I wish I had found uh, last year when I really started getting into, yeah, probably around, I would say April, April or May. Well, the game came out in February. I bought it like a couple of weeks after that. I let it sit in my library for a while, and then I fired it up, and then for a month I just kicked around. And then I said, okay, I'm going to find one seed that I'm going to really develop. It's going to be my home base, etc. I wish it had been this seed, because that would have been cool. Um, but at any rate, now you have this seed. This is one of the best seeds I've seen. And again, um, it was recommended to me by a viewer. Thank you so much, Brian. Appreciate it. Um, I would highly recommend that you check this seed out. This is fantastic. It's good for wherever you're at in your Valheim journey. So, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.